All right, guys, time to play one of the greatest maps of all time, Mob of the Dead. We're doing the Easter egg, right, guys? Of course. It's probably the easiest Easter egg of all time. We might as well. And it looks like Joe's playing as Weasel, so that'll be fun during the final step. Uh, I swear we've done this before. This is all so familiar. But anyways, why don't I have a weapon? I'm just holding out a blue pair of hands in front of me. Joe, you noob, that's afterlife mode. You have to revive yourself or you'll go down for real. Barry, you gotta keep in mind, Joe's never played this map before. He doesn't know what's going on. No, I swear I've played this map before many times. Something about building a plane, right? Well, duh. Everyone knows about the plane on Mob of the Dead, but better not talk about it too much. George here has a bad history with planes. Fuck you, Barack. All right, Joe, you've played Der Eisendrake before, so you remember those dragon heads? Basically, there are three wolf heads on this map that function exactly the same. Hey, don't overwhelm him, George. I don't even think Sleepy can count to three. Fuck you, Don, but okay, let's start building up some points in the spawn room and then start looking around the map for the plane pieces. Sounds like a plan. Double points and insta-kill. Name a more iconic duo, I'll wait. How about you and a child's shoulders, creepy? Damn, Donald, you have no chill. Let's all be friends here. George is right, let's work together instead of bickering. Now step one, guys, we gotta find the warden's key. I'll work on the first wolf head here while you get the key, Barry. All right, I think it's over here by the warden's office, so I'll zap it down real quick. I'll open the door to the showers while you do that. I almost forgot how cool afterlife mode was. It alone makes this map better than that shitty so-called remaster blood of the dead. Don't even say that putrid stain on the zombie mode's name. I never even want to think about that massive letdown again in my life. Yeah, I've never seen something fail to live up to players' expectations like that map. How they went from this masterpiece to that big pile of shit is incomprehensible. Anyways, I got the key and the warden's office unlocked. Step two, we need to find every single plane piece. Me and George are gonna grab this part from the laundry machine down here. I remember back in 1706, before laundry machines were invented, we had to beat the dirt out of our clothes with rocks. Joe, just how old are you again? Uh, I stopped keeping track a long time ago. I don't even remember what year I was born. That is not normal, Joe. Please get some help. Anyways, Annoying Orange, how's the first wolf coming along? Still working on it, Barry. One of you get your asses over here so more zombies spawn. Hold your horses, Donald. I'm on my way. I just finished getting our first plane piece. I want to see these doggos you guys are talking about. Joe, stop talking like a Redditor and hurry. Be careful, though, because this dog loves eating zombies. And frankly, you remind me of one every time I look at you. Quit your yapping, Donald. I'm right here. Oh, man, that's a scary looking dog. Nothing like my loving pooch, Commander. We do both share a large appetite, though. Except I like to eat chocolate chocolate chip ice cream instead of the undead. Joe, who do you think cares about what you're saying right now? I'll give you a hint. It's nobody in this call. Leave him alone, Donald. Besides, I saw Joe's Snapchat story the other day. It looked like you two were having a lot of fun eating ice cream together at Baskin Robbins. I saw that too. They looked like an old married couple out on a date. What the fuck, Joe? I told you not to include me on your Snapchat story. People are gonna think something weird is going on. Sorry, Donald, but something weird is going on. I'm telling you guys we've done this before. My first ever game of Mob of the Dead. Well, Joe, that's impossible. After all, you can only play a map for the first time once. Like I always tell you guys, Grandpa Joe is a dementia-riddled fuck. If that were true, Donnie, then what does that say about you? The man who lost the election to someone who apparently has dementia. Correction, Joe, you mean the man who had the election stolen from him by a guy with dementia? Time out, you whiny old geezers. Let's ignore Joe's deja vu and focus on completing this egg. I'm feeding the dog up at the roof if somebody wants to come help. I'll head up that way. The sooner we get these wolf heads finished, the sooner the awesome power of the Hell's Retriever will be ours. It should be nearly finished, then we can head down to the docks. Just letting you all know right now, especially Joe, that I call the free Blundergat once we get the Hell's Retriever. I don't even know or care about whatever it is you're bitching about this time, Donald. Let's just get on that cool looking gondola and head down to the docks. Hurry your ass up, Obama, before we leave you behind. Calm down, Donald, I'm right here. 
Once we get down to the docks, we'll be able to buy Juggernaug and finish unlocking the Hell's Retriever. We also need to grab the plane part while we're here, and we should grab the nearby shield parts also. Joe, you focus on feeding the dog head with George when we get down here. I feel like you'd somehow screw up getting the plane piece or powering on Juggernaug or anything actually important. I got it, Chester Cheeto, don't worry. I'll do the jumping trick to make this a bit quicker. Someone just get ready to grab the part. On it, Obamna. Just two more parts to go and we'll be off to pack a punch. Everyone group up over by the last wolf head. It should be nearly full. You know, I changed my mind on these dogs. They're actually kind of cute. I think I'll name this one Mr. Cuddles. Joe, these demon dogs literally look like they'd tear you to shreds. I don't think they're supposed to be cute. They probably just had a horrible owner like Donald that didn't provide them with any love. I'd rather show too little love than show too much, especially when it comes to random children, which is something you should have figured out by now. Enough, you two. I just remembered we haven't seen the warden yet, so he'll probably be spawning soon, so be prepared. Let that big, ugly bastard come. He's no problem. Hell, Bill Clinton is more threatening than him. We can go grab the Hell's Retriever now, too. Let's make our way up to it ASAP. I'll shock the machines in here so we can get the plane piece in the warden's office. Someone else should use their afterlife to shock the number pad for the last piece. I got it, guys. Checking the code now. All right, it's 891. Obama, you're the only one who can carry a part, so get your ass down there and grab it once I put in this code. All right, Barack, it's all yours. Picking it up now, let's try to make our way to the roof to add these parts soon. You know, I feel like I really relate to Weasel a lot. He's one of the best Zombies characters despite only appearing on this one map. And I guess technically Blood of the Dead is that annoying bird. Why? Is it because you both look homeless, belong in prison, and are hated by the rest of your respective groups? Don't listen to him, Joe. We don't hate you. Even if you can be pretty bad at Zombies. Donald especially doesn't. He just wants to appear macho. Yeah, Trump talks a tough game for somebody who will probably end up in jail soon and become someone's bitch. Oh shit, Donnie. I just realized you'll get to play Mob of the Dead in real life. Well, Barack, if you want to talk about prisons, what about Guantanamo Bay, which you promised to close? What happened there? Listen, I know I promised, but I'm not a miracle worker. Congress killed any chance of that ever happening. Sounds like excuses to me, Barry, but let's just keep heading up so we can get the retriever already. Finally got it. This thing is so fun to use, at least on this game, before they ruined it so horribly on Black Ops 4. We've got all the plane parts available now, too, so time for step three. We gotta build the plane. Don't be late. I'm heading to the roof to add my part. Everyone else should come do the same. We'll have to ride the plane three times, so the sooner we build it, the sooner we can refuel it later. If my memory serves me right, we also need to throw the tomahawk at a poster in a jail cell, which will cause a spoon to appear that we then have to shock in afterlife mode. Wow, I'm impressed with your map knowledge, Joe, considering you've never played it before. You guys keep saying that, but I feel like I've played it before, like we've done this Easter egg over and over again. Okay, now he's convinced himself he actually is Weasel. Joe, you need to go back to whatever nursing home or insane asylum you escaped from. Maybe there's some truth to what Joe's saying. Maybe we're all trapped in an endless cycle. Is Joe's dementia starting to rub off on you, George? Or are you just humoring his insanity? I'm being serious, guys. This is really freaking me out. Sorry, Joe. But just try not to worry too much. We're just playing a relaxing game of Mob of the Dead with our friends, nothing more. Anyways, I just added my plane piece. Let's hurry up and finish building it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these skulls for the free Blundergat real quick, too. Can't wait to rub it in Joe's face, especially during the last step. I've got bigger concerns right now, Donald. I need to somehow convince you guys I'm not making this up. How about this? I can tell you where all the skulls for the Blundergat are located. Two at the docks, one on the roof, one in a jail cell at Spawn, and one outside the barrier by Speed Cola. Wow, Joe, impressive. It's not like almost all of them are in the same exact spots on Blood of the Dead, which you've played, or even more likely, you could have just watched a Mr. Raffle Waffles guide to figure them out. Or the more likely explanation is that we're trapped in a vicious purgatory, doomed to repeat the mob of the dead Easter egg until we repent for our sins and break the cycle. You seriously think that's the likely explanation? 
My God, Sleepy Joe has finally actually lost it. Yeah, Joe, I, I think after this game, you need to have a serious talk with your cabinet about invoking the 25th Amendment. You guys really don't believe me? Barack, my president, please, you have to remember. I'm sorry, Joe. I, I think I finally agree with Donald. You have lost it. Thanks, Obama. I warned you all for years, but nobody wanted to acknowledge the harsh reality that our friend was completely losing it. Fine. If my words can't convince you, then I'll just have to break the cycle myself and show you all what's really going on here. All right, guys, time for step four. Fly to the Golden Gate. Slow, Joe. Get your ass up to the roof. We just added the last part to the plane. I'm just turning on Deadshot real quick. Give me a second. You're wasting your time with Deadshot, but whatever. Oh, shit. My finger slipped and I accidentally boarded the plane. Joe, it's about to take off. Fuck, all the zombies are on me now. I'm blocking my way to the roof. I don't know if I'm going to make it. It's too late, Joe. Better luck next time, I guess. Damn you, Donald. I bet you did that on purpose. Do you really think I'd do something like that to you, Joe? Because the answer is yes. It was pretty funny, to be fair, Joe. But we'll come back next round anyway, so it's not a big deal. You know what this reminds me of, Georgie? Don't say it, Obama. 9-11. Damn it, Barry. I thought we were done with this. Shit. I forgot to grab my Blundergat from the warden's office. I was going to pack a punch it. Oh, is that so, Donald? I think I'll go take a peek in the warden's office real quick. Keep your dirty hands away from my Blundergat, Joe. I did all the work. It belongs to me. Oh, I don't think so, Donnie. You've trolled me time and time again. Now it's my turn, and I'm going to need this mighty wonder weapon to break the cycle. No! Good job, Joe. Hearing Donald not get his way for once is music to my ears. Fuck you guys. Whatever. Not like I needed to beat Joe's noob ass in the ending fight anyways. Oh no, I got that big scary guard zombie chasing me. Help! This is the guy who gets the blunder get. Seriously? Just shoot him, Joe. Jesus. Calm down, Joe. I'm nearby with the ray gun. I'll come help you out. Thanks, Obama. I was so scared. I might need to sleep with a nightlight from now on. I seriously wonder why I picked you as my VP sometimes, Joe. Just threw my Hell's Retriever at the poster. Gonna go shock the spoon now. Nice. This Easter egg shouldn't take us too long. It's barely even an Easter egg, to be honest. Half the steps are just riding the damn plane. Yeah, they definitely went for story over gameplay with this Easter egg, but it, it doesn't even matter, because the story is so damn cool and interesting. Now that the spoon has been shocked, someone needs to head to the cafeteria and... Throw their tomahawk at the spoon behind the barricade. I've done this countless times, Donald. I mean, you know I suck at remembering things. But doing this Easter egg so many times with you all for my first game of Mob of the Dead has ingrained these steps in my brain. I'm starting to remember more and more as the game goes on. That's why we need to break this cycle before we all forget again. Joe must be looking at a Mr. Dalek JD Easter egg guide or something. Damn it, I am not. I'm telling you, we need to repent for our sins. It's the only way to break the cycle. It's, it's just like Mob of the Dead. You'll all see soon. You will never call me crazy or demented again. I'm woke. Let's just head to the next round so we can refuel the plane. I want to finish this game already. Joe's nonsense is giving me a damn headache. All right, we just need to refill and ride the plane two more times. Let's just quickly grab the parts and get on the plane again, preferably with all of us this time. Yeah, Joe, don't be a noob and miss the plane again. That was your fault, you Oompa Loompa. If anything, you're the noob. Joe, you are objectively more of a noob than Trump. Not really up for debate. Oh, come on, George, you too? I mean, Joe, you seriously still think we're in a real-life purgatory being forced to do this Easter egg over and over again? Just saying. Cut the sass, Barry. I was your VP for crying out loud. I would never lie to you. Don't worry, though. I will break the cycle. Whatever you say, Joe, let's just finish grabbing the fuel for the plane and meet up on the roof. All right, we're all here this time. Everyone hop on the plane. Everybody throw your Hell's Retrievers behind us as we take off. It looks so cool how they trail behind the plane. If you don't do it every time you ride the plane in this game, there's something wrong with you. What a beautiful sight. Brings me back to playing this map in 2013. Can't believe it's already been 10 years. Seriously, I remember playing this map all week long when it dropped during my presidency. Joe was too scared to play it back then. I've grown a lot since then, Barack. 
The only thing I fear right now is being trapped in this horrible cycle. Anyways, no time to stay and pack a punch. I gotta head back to the prison faster than a cat lapping chain lightning. What the fuck does that even mean, Joe? Donald, you should be more concerned about how to repent for the countless sins you've committed instead of my colorful expressions from a bygone era. Now it's time for me to head to the showers so I can get kills for the golden spork. Smell you later, Donald. That's definitely what you say to little girls instead of goodbye. So never say that shit to me again, Joe. The fuel cans won't spawn till next round, so let's head to the showers with Joe so he can get his kills quickly. Just let Joe get all the kills with the acid gat. We'll all be able to get the golden spork after. Think of all the ice cream you could eat with that golden spork, Joe. Sounds good, doesn't it? No time for jokes, Barry. I may never eat ice cream again if we don't manage to break this cycle. Anyways, I just heard the audio cue for the golden spork. Now we just need to ride the plane one more time. That's the last fuel can. Let's go. Honestly, this Easter egg is so easy, Joe probably could have just guessed the steps. Nah, we're totally in an endless time loop, cursed to play Mob of the Dead like the mobsters on the map. And for some reason, only Joe, who has serious evidence supporting that he's off his rocker, remembers any of this. Clearly, that's what's going on, George. I'm not crazy. Yo, simmer down, Chuck McGill. Soon enough, you will all see the truth. Joe, buddy, I know I give you a hard time, but you're actually worrying me now. You need help. How long have we been doing this? Days? Months? Years? Decades? I, I must break the cycle. Uh, let's head back to the prison to input the numbers. All right, I'm putting in the last prisoner number, guys. We're almost done with this Easter egg, fellas. Hopefully Joe will finally shut up when it's over. I'm telling you, Donald, something isn't right here. Yeah, you, Joe. You sound more insane than those QAnon conspiracy theorists. Come on, guys, let's just listen to Stanley Ferguson and move on to the last step. So you want to know the truth? Hold on a fucking second. That Brutus quote wasn't from my headset. That was real life. What the hell is going on here? Are you telling me Sleepy Joe was actually telling the truth? My name is Stanley Ferguson. I was a Secret Service agent for every president, starting with George W. Bush and up to Joseph Biden. Today we will be recounting the strange but true story of how four U.S. presidents vanished off the face of the earth. It all started on February 23rd, 2023, when the four presidents, George W. Bush, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, and Joe Biden, all decided to play a game of Mob of the Dead on Black Ops 2. This was Joe's first time playing the map, and the others wanted to carry him through the Easter egg. What the fuck? W what's going on here? Listen, you fool. At some point during the Easter egg, things took a turn. Donald Trump, the brash businessman turned president, didn't appreciate how much of a noob Joe was at the game. The game was being streamed at the time, but suddenly went dark in the middle of the match. Eyewitness reports of the game claimed that Donald got irritable at then-President Biden and at some point got the other two presidents to turn on Joe as well. This petty squabble resulted in the Easter egg not being completed as Biden rage quit and then the stream ended. Since that moment, none of the presidents, 43 through 46, have been seen again. To say the media went in a frenzy would be a massive understatement. But this is impossible. You're telling me dumbass Joe was right and we're actually in purgatory? I told you guys, but you just wouldn't believe me. I can't believe Joe didn't have dementia this whole time. Of course, there have been theories about what happened to them. The far-right conspiracy theorists of the world were convinced that they were taken away to a purgatory, and the map they were playing, Mob of the Dead, is the biggest smoking gun. However, experts are skeptical for obvious reasons. We may never truly know what happened to the last four presidents. In the aftermath of their disappearances, newly sworn in President Harris declared February 23rd as National POTUS Remembrance Day. Unless a new breakthrough or lead is discovered, this event will likely baffle historians and the American public for decades to come. Joe, I I'm speechless. We're so sorry we didn't believe you. I can't believe this is really happening. Then you all must repent. Repent for your crimes during your time as president so we can finish this Easter egg, breaking the cycle once and for all. I suppose I'll go first. I'm sorry for the war in the Middle East. I lied to the nation about Saddam Hussein having nuclear weapons. 
I'm sorry about the economy crashing in 2008 as well, and for my poor Hurricane Katrina response. But most importantly, I'm really sorry for my lame brother Jeb. Good job, George. Now it's your turn, Barack. All right. Well, first, I'm sorry for the countless drone strikes that killed innocent people. I'm sorry for letting Michelle ruin school lunches, too. And I'm really sorry for wearing that whack tan suit. I knew it was wrong, but I did it anyways. I now see the error of my ways. Donald, what about you? You probably have thousands of sins to repent for, so I'd go ahead and get started. Are you kidding me? You heard the cassette tape. This is your fault. Your dumb ass couldn't carry your weight in the easiest Easter egg ever made. No, Donald, you must atone for your crimes. You're going to keep us trapped here. We're only here because of you, Joe. I have nothing to repent for. My presidency was perfect. Drop your ego for a second, Donald, and think about what you're doing. If you continue the cycle, we'll just be doomed to do this all over again. No way. I'm boarding the plane, and then we're going to fight on the Golden Gate Bridge, and I'm not going to lose to a noob like you. Donald, no! Trump, you selfish orange buffoon, you're condemning us all to an endless purgatory. Joe, please, you have to beat Donald during this fight. You're our only hope. I got this. I won't let you guys down. I'm going to destroy you and then Fortnite default dance on your corpse. Joe, you are no Albert Arlington. I'm going to break this cycle, Donald. Go revive your ass from the electric chair so we can finally put an end to this malarkey. Even the acid gat is no match for my death machine, Joe. Now eat lead. No, Donald, what have you done? I just won, stupid Joe. GG, better luck next time. Ah! All right, guys, time to play one of the greatest maps of all time, Mob of the Dead. We're doing the Easter egg, right, guys? Of course. It's probably the easiest Easter egg of all time. We might as well. And it looks like Joe's playing as Weasel, so that'll be fun during the final step. Now, this can't be right. I know we've done this before. Uh, does all this seem a little familiar to the rest of you? Uh, yeah. Unlike you, Joe, we've actually played this map before. Now pipe down so we can carry you through this Easter egg. If you guys say so. It just seems like I remember... Well, never mind. Let's just play. President Biden here. Thank you for sticking around till the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This video was based heavily on the story of Mob of the Dead. So for any casual viewers who were confused, go pull up a Mr. Awful Waffles video or something and catch up on the zombies lore. As always, I would like to tell you about my Discord server, which is currently at nearly 1,000 members and growing strong every day. It's a great place to make friends or find people to play zombies with, so I encourage you to check it out. I would also like to quickly plug my Patreon. Becoming a patron will grant you access to exclusive benefits like early video access, special Discord roles, and a chance to play with me and appear in videos. A special thanks to each of my current patrons listed here. Your support is greatly appreciated and helps a lot. Thank you once again for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. As always, God bless.